It is important to understand how discussions are structured in my courses. This understanding will allow you to use this tool to its fullest extent. The discussion tool is made up of three parts, forums, topics, and threads. So as you can see here, I'm on the discussion list page, and a forum is used to just organize the discussion into categories. So the thing that's right up here that says discussions, that's the name of my forum, and I can have more than one forum. Topics are used uh, for the individual subjects within the forum that you create. So here's a topic, and you'll see it says topic. Here's another topic. Here's another topic. All the topics are listed underneath of the forums. So you have a forum and then topics. Again, the topics are created by you. And then finally, within the topic, you have something called threads. And a thread is the conversations that occur within a topic by students or you. So you or students can create threads. So to get further into it a little bit, in most cases, you probably only have one forum in your course. You can have many, as many as you want, but it makes sense to only have one because there's no real reason to have multiple ones. It can be confusing to students. But you must have at least one forum in order to create topics. Having more than one forum can be confusing for students. You will also, in most cases, not change any of the settings at the forum level since it will affect all the topics created within that forum. So when I click on the context menu here and go to edit forum, you'll notice that there's a bunch of settings here. You're not going to probably mess around with those settings, including locking options and all of that, because all of that information, all of those settings will cascade down to all of the topics. Topics are the most important part of a discussion tool because this is where you put your question prompt or instructions of what you want your students to discuss. In most cases, you'll use the topics to set your properties for your discussions. So you'll notice in here, here's my prompt for the students. That's what the students are going to see. So that's why topics are most important. You're also going to go into here and edit the topics and mess around with all of the settings in here using post first, uh, using um, at start and end dates, availability, locking options, all of those things are going to be done, um, uh, putting this to the gradebook within the topic. And you may want to review the tutorials on settings on topics to learn more. Topics are also the items that get linked to course content area. So when I go to the course content, and you'll see right here, Right here, this icon, that's a, that's a topic. That's a discussion topic. So the students, from their perspective, never really see what the forum is. So now, within the specific topics in the discussion, again, forum, topic, and now if I drill down into the individual topic, then we have threads. And students can then create threads within the topics based on your question prompt. So here's my question, and then here's the students who are then starting to write threads. You can also, as an instructor, create a thread, and there may be some reasons for that. You can think of a thread as conversations within the discussion tool. So now I want to kind of bring up a graphic and give you a... I think this graphic explains the concepts well. Think of the discussion tool as the file cabinet here. Um, and then the drawers within the file cabinet are the forums, so I can have more than one forum. Now, when you open the drawer, you have all the manila folders that are within that forum, and those manila folders are the individual topics. And you create the subjects on each of those manila folders. So in other words, if I write on the manila folder and I give some information on that manila folder, that's the topic, and that's what you would like the students to discuss. Then the topic, or the manila folder, is what's connected to the content area. And then finally, within the manila folder, within the topic, you have these, all these kinds of threads. So you have pieces of paper in there where you've written down my ideas and my thoughts. And all of those many papers within the manila folders are the topics. So I hope this, exp hope this graphic and I hope this... Um, tutorial explains a little bit better about the structure of the discussions 
in my courses. Again, you have forums. Within a forum, you have topics. Within the topics, you have threads.